It appears that the Lagos State Emergency Management Agency has concluded the search and rescue operations at the scene of the Ibutameta building collapse as sympathizers hang around Sabin. As scavengers climb the heap of rubbles to pick bits and pieces of their properties, some residents and eyewitnesses say some of those that died in the tragic incident have been buried. My mother-in-law and my sister lived in the collapsed building. The boys around tried, but they brought out my mother-in-law and the son dead. Some other victims were calling that they were still trapped in the rubble but the caterpillars brought them out dead too. In fact, those dead were more than 20. There are some houses inherited by the third generation and are still durable. But this house was not well built, whether it has existed for 30 or 50 years. Government should help monitor the developers or else young and old would continue to die. This particular building was built with ordinary sand. I will blame the government because the residents of those places, I can't blame them much in the sense that if you look at the cost of uh, rentage in this country is too high. How the cost of houses in this area is so much. A room and parlor, getting a room and parlor one million naira with agreement and commission. How many people have that money? And I believe most of them that died in that house because of the high cost of apartment. That is why they didn't leave. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.